Hey guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2011 here by Night Angel Marine. This is the seventh day, which will wrap up our playthrough of Farming Simulator. So, there's a couple of things I haven't shown you yet. And uh, there's been a lot of comments about cows and how that works. So, let's buy a cow. There we are. And our car, our cow babbit has been transported to the meadow, which I'll show you in just a minute. There's a couple other things we need to buy here. To feed our cow, we need a forage harvester. And I'll show you in just a moment what it does. We need that, and we need a forage header. And then to attach to it, we need a tipper, one of the uh, one of the vanilla copy of the game tippers, because any modded tippers don't seem to work. So let's go over here and jump in our new big forge harvester and hook it up to the header. Whoops. And then let's go harvest some, uh, corn for our cows to eat because you as you can see here we have one cow and 36 uh, liquid manure storage and 29 uh, manure storage which is hard manure but nothing to feed it and until we have the feed for it it won't give us any milk which is the purpose of having cows. And I know, as you guys have probably seen, as I have seen, it says in several different places, you can breed your cows. Yeah, good luck on that. I've had over a hundred cows in my meadow here and waited for months on end, and nothing ever happens. They never breed, they never... They never increase their numbers, they never do nothing. So, good luck on all that. But, you can feed them, and you can get milk from them. Milk truck comes, I believe, at 7 and 7, or rather, as the clock goes in the game, 7 and 1900. But let's get some corn for them here. That's really quite how simple it is for him to get corn. Just hook up a tipper to the back, hook up to the uh, forage header on the front, make sure your pipe's out, and then you just run it like a regular combine. And if we change the uh, tool selection here, you'll see in our trailer, we have chopped corn for them, which is exactly what you need for their corn silage. Or I think it calls it a silage clamp, but corn silage basically. It's just like any uh, foraging any other crop after that. Threshing, harvesting. So there's some to give to them. 
Let's go feed that to them. Then I'll show you a couple other uh, things that we can do here. So as I was saying, the milk truck comes at uh, 7 and 7 or 7 and 1900. And it just does its own thing and don't have to really worry about it. So there we are. Let's uh, drop off our corn. You'll see the silage clamp go up. And that's how simple that is. Now, as you see, we also need to feed them in the feeding trough grass. So let's open up our uh, our selector here. And you can go with this one. In fact, this is probably the one we're going to go with. But you can also go with this one. In fact, I think we will go with this one. Uh, it's much bigger. And that's, that's pretty much the only thing. Uh, if you get the uh, Platinum Edition... Uh, it comes with several more options here, as you can see. Um, but pretty much, as long as you have one, that's all you need on that end. And then what you can do is you can come in here, and you can get the tiny mower for the front of the tractor, the big mower for the back of the tractor, the tether, which will dry your... Uh, which will dry your grass and then a rake or you can come down here there's bigger tetters bigger rakes and a couple other things here uh, big plow supposedly but you don't need plows because your cultivator is going to be much bigger and then itty bitty tiny cedar but the big things down here is a big tetter and a big windrower which unless you're going to be belling grass I don't recommend and the reason why I don't recommend it is when we go over here and jump to our big tractor. We'll hook it up here. Uh, the reason I don't recommend the tether and the rake and the big rear grass mower is because when you rake it, when you mow it with a big, with both mowers, and you rake it. And then you come along and pick it up with the, with the uh, grass trailer here. You'll find that you pick up just as much doing it this way as you would by buying both mowers and raking it and putting it together in furrows. You pick up just as much either way. So why waste a whole bunch of grass? It's kind of a glitch in the game, which they haven't yet uh, taken care of, that I I take advantage of, I guess you could say. All these cars in the way. You can just run them down for the most part, because... They don't take any damage, and you don't take any damage, as long as you don't get stuck on them. Okay, and then to harvest grass, it's, uh, again, quite simple. You just turn on the mower with B, lower of it with V, change your tool selection, and turn your forage harvester on. Forage wagon, I guess they call it. And away you go.
And that's quite simply how easy it is to do it. So yeah, like I say, I recommend this way versus buying both uh, mowers and a rake because you just won't get the use of it that you're hoping to get. Unless, of course, you don't wor you know worry about waste and all whatnot, and you just want to get it all done and tear through a field and you know get it all. But you'll get just as much out of that field this way as you will the other way. So. Anyway, let's back up our trailer here to the feeding trough, which is right here, and unload it. There's some, some grass to munch on. Another thing, uh, that's the milker right over there. You won't ever see any cow go into it. It just automatically populates with milk, as you uh, have seen it do there. So now we have a little bit of milk in our tank. So there's a couple other things I want to show you. Um, one of those things is I want to go into the tractors here. And there's this tractor that you can hook up with a bucket and pick up manure. And that's what we're going to do. And there's a couple of things you can do with it. Either A, you can hook it up to a, a manure spreader down here, like for instance that one, and use it that way. Or what you can do if you have a platinum addition is you can come into here and buy a greenhouse. Let's say tomato greenhouse. And then let's plant it up here so it's relatively close to where we need it to be for ease of use. And just for the demonstration purposes, let's only plant one. And then let's get in our tractor here that we just purchased. You can use the uh, bucket with. And while we're here, and I'm showing you the greenhouse bit, let's actually uh, take use of... Whoops, that was totally the wrong button. Take use of another instrument here that we have that we need to use. Um... Let's see, where is it? Is it animals? No. It's in trailers, I think. So, yes. This, I don't know what to do with. I've, I've tried to do with it. I, I can't tell you. This uh, trailer here is a great big huge uh, liquid fertilizer, which you can use. In fact, I'll, I'll show you it, seeing as you can't use liquid fertilizer with the uh, greenhouse. Also this one, not exactly sure what it's used for, but this one is another trailer that you'll need to buy with your greenhouse. So let's hook up the little water trailer here and haul it over
And so quite simply, as you may have uh, seen in videos, what you do with water trailer is you just back it up in a river. Uh, if you're on a modern map without a river, I'm not exactly sure if you can still use this or quite how you do it. But it's in a river, you just press R, fill it up. Should be good for what we need to do. Now we ain't going to be able to get a full bucket of, uh, of hard manure here. Because we only have 88. But we should be able to pick up all 88. Perhaps. Okay, um, let's see here. Yeah, we're not, uh, not grabbing any here. And it should be done with a mouse, and I'm trying to do it without it's just simple touchpad that be, may be part of my problem here but yeah we're not not grabbing any but I, I imagine you guys get the general gist you just drive in there fill up your bucket and away you go Wow. And that is not where I should have put the greenhouse. Because as you can see, there's no way in the world we're going to get it in the uh, in the trough. But anyway, you would normally dump your, your manure that you have in your bucket in the green box there. And then you would drive the trailer up beside the uh, blue water tank here and fill it. But as you can see, I uh, didn't plant it in exactly the right spot because there's no way you could put it in the green box. So anyway, now our greenhouse is sort of taken care of. Like I say, it need manure to get the best yield out of it. Our cows have corn and grass to, uh, to eat on and they're producing us milk. So, that's how the cow and the greenhouse end of it works. Let's see here, what else, what else haven't I shown you? Oh yes, the baling end. Let's, uh, let's go and show how baling works in, in this system. Uh, before we entirely move on, another question you guys might be asking is about the grass. Because I know in Farming Simulator 2009, once you cut the grass, uh, against what it said, the grass did not regrow. In 2011, I can assure you, it does regrow. So let's move this out of the way here. Uh, I could I could show you real quick 
exactly how it works. I guess I will here, just real quick. As you can see, it's a huge, huge, huge trailer. Just drive it up here by this big blue half silo thing. Fill it up. We don't have a whole lot right now. And you can unfold it. Like I say, this one is absolutely massive. And press B to turn it on, and boom. That's how it would work. But you see how far we got with the little bit that we had. So. Anyway, that's how that works. Now let's uh, buy ourselves a baler. Let's buy the square one. And I'll go show you how the bailing process works. Works much the same as does in agricultural simulator. Except in this one you don't advance days and the straw furrows stay there. You can't advance days and eventually they'll disappear as you can in agricultural simulator. So I'll hook it up. Come out here, press 2. That's as fast as you can bail. And away we go. And there it's starting to spit bells out the back. Anyway, guys, I will re be right back with you as soon as this field here is done being bailed. Okay, guys, I didn't bail the whole thing, I know, but uh, I, I bailed enough for the demonstration here. So now, I hope you're watching, Mr. Stocko Gloss. This is how it's done. Go back in here, go to Trailers. 
I believe. May not be in trailers. No, um, let's see here. It's in implements, my bad. Go down through implements. And you buy an automatic bell loader. And you hook it up. There we go. You press B to get it in operating position. And it picks up the bales. As you're seeing there. So one more down in there. Okay, there we go. Pick up the bailing part, the operating position. Like I say, I hope you're watching Mr. Stucco Gloss. Because this right here is what you've been asking Agricultural Simulator to have. I'm going to show you right here how simple it is in Farming Simulator. Okay, ready? Put it into operating or into unloading position. Back up. Butted against the barn. It's very important to have it butted against the barn. And then unload. Boom. Watch. If we can pull forward here. All unloaded. Right like that. So, uh, let's see here. What else haven't I shown you guys? Let's go through our different uh, panels here. So there's tractors. There's, uh, this is for picking up uh, the bells. If you want to pick it up the old-fashioned way without the automatic lower loader and put them on the trailer this is for pallets but I'm not really sure there's any pallets you need to move the tractors this is basically like the other tractor that I showed you uh, except its arm right here telescopes out and same attachments combines all the different types with their headers 
This one down here is for the forage harvester, and it cuts uh, the grass, but it doesn't put it in the trailer as grass. It puts it in the trailer as corn silage, which I find very interesting, but that's what it does. Different types, types of tippers here. You also got a forage uh, trailer, a manure spreader, and the slurry tanker. Uh, it's the little one for the liquid manure. Some d couple of different uh, bell trailers here that you could manually put the bells on and then manually take them off. Mobile fuel tank that I showed you. Another uh, forage wagon. A bigger manure spreader. A massive slurry tanker for the liquid manure. This one, not sure. I uh, worked with it quite a while once and couldn't figure out what exactly it does. I think it's supposed to work with the liquid manure but for the greenhouses, but it doesn't. So, not sure exactly what that one does. Another uh, forge trailer, another forge trailer, another one that I couldn't exactly figure out what in the world it's supposed to do. I think it's supposed to be like a manure spreader or a liquid manure spreader. But again, I, I couldn't get it to work like that. Uh, the water tanker. Another forge wagon. A, another tipper, mid-sized tipper. Uh, volume of 24,000, so it's smaller than the large tipper up, uh, up above. And then another manure spreader. So a whole bunch of different options there. Implements, you got your shield, which I guess you could use it, but you don't need to. It serves no... You know, no technical purposes. Plows, which again, I guess if you're big on plowing your field, you can. But you don't need to. The, fr the cultivator does the same thing. A uh, couple of small options for cedars. A uh, couple of the smaller options for for uh, spraying your fields. A couple of small cultivators. A couple of front weights or rear weights if you need them. Two different types of mowers. The tether, whoops, is for drying the grass. You haul it, you tow it behind the, uh, a uh, tractor, dry the grass in uh, in order to bell it, and a small rake. Bunch of different types of cultivators. The largest two of the cedars with their different working widths and the 9 meter of course uh, carries more seed than the 8 meter the automatic bell loader that you just saw a bigger tether and a bigger rake an itty bitty cedar and an 8 disc plow which like again I say the cultivators are quicker but if you're absolutely adamant about cultivating or plowing your field you can uh, the square baler works with the automatic bell lo loader, whereas the, autom whereas the round baler does not repeat, does not work with the automatic bell loader. That one, if you use that one and you make round bells, you will have to load the bells manually and unload the bells into the barn manually. Uh, we have a wind converter here, stands up on the hill. Guess I can show. Well, no, I no, I can't because it's expensive. It's 1.2 million. Uh, solar collector. You just place on the map. I'll show you that. Uh, you just place it anywhere on the map you want. Same as the uh, wind wind turbine. You just place it, and it makes a little bit of money on the side. Uh, front loader here works well with the manure. Taking manure out of the out of the manure pit there and taking it to wherever you need it. Three different options of greenhouses here. You got the tomatoes, the lettuce, and the herbs. They all work the same. And a bee house. Bee house I want to show you. Bee house you just place anywhere like that and you're done. It doesn't require any other thing and it slowly makes you a little bit of money on the side. It's all it takes. Uh, on the side here, you got animals, a cow, the only type of animals that you can get, unless you import a few as mods, and then I don't think they'd be here. 
they'd be in this list of mods and as you can see I've I've worked I've got a few here uh, but you guys can work with and deal with your own mods and we're back to tractors so I believe I've shown you just about everything that I can show you uh, if you have any further questions about Farming Simulator 2011 feel free to comment uh, in the videos about any questions you have as I said before there's two questions that I'm not going to answer first question being let me jump out of my tractor here first question being that I'm not going to tell you is what happens when you unlock all the different achievements this is where your little achievement plates go as you unlock them and as you unlock six and then all twelve achievements you get a bonus I'm not going to show you though what you get if you want if you're dying or no and you don't want to find out by doing it you can research it online but I'm not going to tell you the other thing I'm not going to tell you or show you is where in the world to find all the bottles it's hard as hell and why they have you do it I don't know doesn't make any sense to me but all you got to do is go around find a bottle pick it up and then take it to a green storage bin which I'll show you uh, but it, pretty much any other questions you guys might have uh, I'll be here to answer uh, I'll answer it by replying in the comments section of the YouTube video unless I feel that in order to properly uh, show it to you and explain it to y'all I need to create another YouTube video if I decide that I need to create another YouTube video to explain it to y'all I will go ahead and do that uh, but pretty much that's I believe I've pretty much covered as much as I can tell you all about Farming Simulator 2011. So, this has been a Farming Simulator 2011 playthrough, or educational walkthrough, might be better said, of Farming Simulator 2011 by Night Angel Marine. These little green things here are where you take your bottles after you found them. Just get close and voila, it dumps them off for you. So, anyway, till I hear uh, questions or until I, you know, until you guys need help, uh, this will be the end for Farming Simulator 2011 Educational Walkthrough by Night Angel Marine. Hope this uh, has helped you out quite a bit with how to uh, run and make money on your own farms in Farming Simulator 2011. Until next time guys, this is Night Angel Marine.